Welcome, welcome to Arapapa. Thank you. Welcome so to much. Uganda International Fashion Week. Thank you, Sandra. Mm. <laughs> the vision of Arapapa is to, you know, we want to create a new era. And so we also want people that want, you know, people who are proud to identify with their origin, with, with, with their Ugandanness, with their Africanness. We, we, we just are tired of looking at, you know, Ugandans buying cheap. Chinese clothing at a dollar, three dollar, you know, it, we can do it. We, 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 we can do it, we can be ourselves, we can own our identity and, and we can sell it beyond, you know, the borders of Uganda. So Arapapa is here to actually brand Uganda as a destination of African fashion. And the brand the name Arapapa is derived from, you know, Arapapa is a butterfly in my local language, Madi. A butterfly is called Arapapa. And the reason I chose Arapapa is because it tells a story of who I am. You know, the beautiful metaphor of a butterfly. You start from the lowest ends that nobody wants to touch, nothing people want to see around the caterpillar. Is, nobody wants to deal with it. But then it has grown into something that is beautiful, that is celebrated all over. And so, you know, all over Africa, all over the world. So at the end of the day, for me, um, our inspiration is who we are. It is Ugandan, it is African. But at the same time, contemporary. If you look at our designs, you realize that you know, they are not only, they are not traditional at all. They are inspired by our culture, our traditions, but they are very modern. They are the kind of clothes that can be worn all over the world. I chose bar cloth because it's an African material. It's very easily accessible. It's not conventional in art, and I am not conventional. I like to do unconventional things. Um, most of my work is mixed media, so I use all sorts of materials. Um, as a way of, 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 of drawing, uh, thread is, is fantastic. For abstract painters like us, we find it very easy to, to work with, you know, um, in de defining the shapes and direction. I like to do costumes for, for theatre, for fashion, but not so, such a, a thing to sell in the shop, so uh, it's just to promote bark, you know, I do it for, and just to be extravagant on the stage. Yeah. And I'm using recycled paper, magazine beads like these. Uh, I'm using uh, various uh, paints, acrylic, uh, some spray paper, paint, and such like. Yeah. 